Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. Let's start by reading this problem. It says during the 2010 season, football player McGee's earnings M. So we, we're told M is McGee's earnings right away, right? So I'm going to start writing this down. I like to write these things down as I see them. It helps me keep track of everything. So M is McGee's earnings. Okay, got that. And these earnings were $0.005 million more than those of his team teammate Fitzpatrick's earnings F. So F is Fitzpatrick's earnings. And we know something now important. They're telling us one of them is earning more than the other. Which one? Well, M was more than F. So think about it this way. Take whatever F is earning and then add 0 0.005 million, or at 0 0.05 for now, because we're in terms of millions, and that equals McGee's earnings. So whatever F is equal to, we add to it, and then we get McGee's earnings, because McGee's earnings is more, right? Take Fitzpatrick's, add more to his salary, and you get McGee's. Um, or you could write McGee's minus 0 0.005, and that's Fitzpatrick's. Okay, so... The two players earned a total of $3.95 million. Okay, so now we know if we take McGee's earnings and we take Fitzpatrick's earnings and we add them, we get $3.95 million. Which system of equations, system of equations is a group of equations, could be used to determine the amount each player earned in millions of dollars? So we have our, our equations. We have this one, right? This one and this one. Now, I would say you don't want to include both of these, one or the other, because it's just the same equation written in two different ways. You want some version of this equation, and then one or the other here, because you have two different descriptors. You want your equations to be different. So let's look at the choices. M plus F equals 3.95. That's this one. M plus 0 0.005 is, is F. That's not true, because Fitzgerald doesn't earn more than McGee, it's the other way around. So here, I'm going to jump over here, look at this. If you add up their salaries, you get 3.95 million. If you take whatever Fitzgerald, Fitzpatrick, excuse me, is earning, and add 0 0.005 million to it, you get McGee's earnings. That's what we just said right here. Now, if you wanted to solve this, let's just take a look at this really quickly. All right? If you want to figure out what they're earning, let's just do that for fun. Right? We know this is true. If we add up, we get 3.95, and we know that M is the same thing as Fitzpatrick's plus 0 0.05. We use what's called substitution. So if M is equal to F plus 0 0.005, I plug that in here for M. And that gets me F plus 0 0.005, right, plus F, where we're on this equation, equals 3.95 million. F plus F is 2F. Right? And then that's going to equal 3.95 minus 0 0.005 million. So what does that equal? Let's keep going. Well, here, 3.95 million minus 0 0.005 million is this subtraction right here. So we borrow from the 5. It's 4. 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus nothing is 4. 9 and 3. So it's 3.945 million equals 2F divided by 2 on both sides, and that's that's Fitzgerald's or whatever salary. So let's just figure that out real quick. 3.945 divided by 2 is 1.9725 million. Now if we add 0 0.005 to that, we get McGee's, uh, <laughs> what was it, Mitt's, <laughs> McGee's earnings, okay. Now, if we take that number and we add it to 1.97, oops, 725, notice we get 3.95, the total of their salaries. So if we were solving this and trying to figure out what is what, right, we could test to see if our work is making sense by seeing if it adds to the correct amount, which it does. Now, they don't ask us to go that far here, but we could do it that way. All right, hope this helps.